good morning guys so as you can tell from the title today is going to be a video about samples from the house of M. Mikalev um, and I just have eight samples here to go through with you and I'm basically just gonna go through them with you really relaxed I haven't even looked up the notes in any of these fragrances and I'm gonna tell you uh, basically what they smell like to me um, whether or not I like them, which ones I think would be full bottle worthy, um, and that kind of thing. So if you are interested in getting your hands on samples like this from the house, you can get them in a discovery kit for very, very affordable directly from the Mikalef website. Um, I will put a link down below for you. So just so you guys know, I am not being paid for any of these reviews. Um, and this video is not sponsored and I don't make any commission or anything like that. Um, but the house did send me these samples for free to try out today. So um, I'm really, really excited. What I did was I actually smelt them all last night, just kind of like a quick first impression. And I actually took and sprayed um, little cotton rounds last night so that this morning they would still be quite um, quite fresh and also I could get an idea of like the dry down and I'm gonna go through them all with you today and tell you just kind of my first impressions. So first I just want to appreciate for a minute the packaging and also just the beauty of all of the products when you order something from M. Mikalev. Everything is so beautifully boxed and so beautifully packaged. Um, it's just pure luxury. It's absolutely gorgeous. And just so that you guys know, I will be doing an unboxing of one of their new fragrances, but that's going to be coming in the future. So, um, but that's kind of what you can expect when you order from Mikalef. You get absolutely gorgeous, just very regal looking product. From so them. this is what the little booklet looks like inside. And I'm pretty sure that the ones on the left are, um, men's fragrances and the ones on the right are women's although there are a lot of unisex within the entire house and of course you can wear anything you want but I do believe that this one here is unisex I think this one here might be unisex um and I think the is it the gourmet might be unisex as well this one here is definitely men's for sure and of course the Ylang and gold definitely um, is a women's perfume as well as the mon perfume pearl so if you watch my channel already you've probably already seen me talk about the mon perfume pearl and the Ylang and gold I will just quickly go over them again though if this is your first time here um, but yeah why don't we start with the women's so let's just get the Elaine in gold out of the way because this one is one that I actually own a full bottle of. I purchased it with my own money and I absolutely love it. Um, this one is a beautiful Elaine and vanilla and coconut fragrance. It's a little bit tropical smelling. I didn't spray a cotton round because I already own it, but oh my gosh, it smells so good. So this sample I will probably gift to somebody in the future or send it um, to a subscriber. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. You can see that I sprayed it on the package there last night just to refresh my nose a little bit. So yeah, Ylang and Gold is definitely full bottle worthy for sure. Then we have Mon Parfum Pearl, and this is a really beautiful powdery floral scent. I think there's rice flour or rice powder in this, one or the other rice powder, I think. Um, this is absolutely gorgeous. Very elegant smelling, very feminine, very clean, very powdery. Um, I do have it sprayed on a little cotton round here. It just smells like um, very fresh, beautiful white flowers, but with some powdery notes as well. Very pretty, very clean, very elegant, um, a little bit more mature. I don't think that this one would be ideal for somebody who was um, very young. I honestly think early 30s and up, mid 30s and up maybe. Like I really like this, but I don't think I'd wear it all the time, but it's absolutely beautiful. Some of these cards tell you um, what the notes are. Some of them don't. This one says that there is rosebud, tangerine, black currant, heliotrope, centifolia, rose, peony, rice powder, white musk, and vanilla bean. So it is absolutely gorgeous. This one I do think is full bottle worthy. The next one is Royal Musca, and I'm, I hope I'm saying that properly. It has this beautiful bottle again, just like the Ylang and Gold. Um, and this one I do like. I don't know if I would purchase a full bottle. It's a very unique, musky kind of a fragrance. Again, I haven't looked at the notes, so I can't tell you what that different note is in there that I'm picking up, but it is very different. I just have it on the little cotton round. It's a very pretty, almost aldehydic, musky scent. Maybe there's aldehydes in it. I'm not 100% sure. It almost has a Chanel number no. five kind of a vibe. It doesn't smell like Chanel number no. five, but it almost has that kind of a vibe. It's pretty. It's pretty powdery, um, 
a little aldehydic and quite musky. Um, and yeah, a little bit reminiscent of Chanel Number no. 5. It's beautiful. I think that if you like Chanel Number no. 5, you would probably really, really, really like this. I really like Chanel Number no. 5 actually. It's not something that I wear often, like uh, day to day, but I do like to wear it to bed sometimes. It's, it's really nice. It's really nice, and again, it's very elegant. Please excuse my cat. Um, so the next one is Ananda, and I don't know if you guys remember from my video when I unboxed Elaine and Gold, they had sent me a sample of Ananda Chai. I didn't care for that one because that one was a little too spicy. It really did have like um, tea notes in it, like spiced chai tea kind of notes. This one is a little bit similar to that one, but it's not quite so spicy and it's really, really pretty. Again, I haven't looked up the notes, but I do have it on a little cotton round again. By the way, you guys, if you smell fragrances, using these little face cotton rounds is a really, really good way to smell your fragrances because it holds on to the perfume a lot longer than paper does and you really get like a really full bodied sniff of the perfume. I don't know how to describe it, but cotton rounds are amazing for smelling fragrances. So this is the Ananda. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful floral scent. It's a very soft, like white floral. There might be a little bit of rose. I'm not 100% sure on that. Do they have the notes on the inside? They don't have the notes on the inside of this one, but this is a really beautiful, clean, elegant, again, white floral. Very pretty. It smells almost like there could be something like lilac in it maybe, like maybe there's a purple flower or something. I'm not sure. Just, yeah really pretty and fresh and white floral. I don't think I would buy a full bottle of this one, at least not right now. Um, okay, so moving on to the men's side of the package slash unisex, um, I think what we'll do is we'll start off with, um, we'll start off with the one that I did not like and we will work our way up to um, my favorite one. So the one that I really did not like and I thought that I would like just based on the name is this one. This is called Secrets of Love Gourmet. I'm pretty sure this is a men's scent. It, I guess it could be unisex, but it is quite um, quite masculine. So the bottle is really unique. If you're gonna, I mean, the bottle's really nice. This one's good, the passion one. This one, not so good. So I thought I would really love this one because of the name Gourmet. I was kind of hoping for it to be very gourmand and sweet and edible and all of this stuff. I do have it sprayed on the cotton round and this one to me is, I don't care for it very much at all. It is, um, <clears throat> I'm getting leather. I don't know if there's leather. I haven't looked at the notes, but I'm definitely getting leather and some woody notes. There could be oud or something like that. Um, and I think this is the one that when I first sprayed it, I think there was like a boozy note. I'm not sure, but I think there was like a rum or a boozy note of some sort. Yeah, I don't care for that one. Um, this is the type of scent I could see on like my grandfather, um, like back in the day, like yeah, grandfather scent back in the day. I don't know, kind of comforting, kind of woody, but not really nice, like not really good. I don't know, that makes, that sounds terrible. Um, but yeah, this is not something I would want my boyfriend to wear. Not at all, never. Um, oh, they've got the notes. They've got the notes on the back here, apparently. Okay, so this has incense, raspberry, violet, leather, okay, chestnut, labdomen, labdenum, oud, and vanilla. Okay, yeah, so that makes sense. So I was definitely getting the leather, and there is leather. I thought there was like a rum note. There's no rum, there's just raspberry, so maybe that combination of the raspberry and the incense, and there's oud, so, and there's chestnut. So yeah, it's a very like, nutty, woody, leathery, not so good. I don't like it at all. And when I first sprayed it, um, when I first sprayed it, I thought it smelled like alcohol. It really smelled like, like booze. I did not like it. <laughs> so that's the one that I don't like from the men. Okay, this one here is a little bit better. I still don't really like this one very much. This is Secrets of Love Passion. The bottle is okay. This is definitely a male fragrance. Um, this one smells a step up, but still not one of my favorites. Um, and just to be fair, these are the only fragrances I've smelt from Mikalef. Like these ones, as well as the one that I purchased uh, with my own money, like the Ylang and Gold, and the couple of samples they sent me last month. These are the only ones I've smelt. So I have it on around here. This one's a little bit better. This is a woody, masculine scent, very woody, mature, a little bit sweet. There might be something kind of sweet in it, like um, think Hugo Boss, the scent 
private accord for him, but not so sweet and sexy and a little bit more mature and woody, like Hugo Boss The Scent Private Accord meets my grandfather. It's nice. I would want to smell this on a man, a very mature man in his 50s to 60s, like yeah, 50s I guess, and he has lots of money, he's quite wealthy, he's quite dependable, he dresses well, and he sits in an office like doing paperwork and smoking cigars. I feel like that's the kind of man who wears this one. Eh, maybe not. It could be a younger guy. Honestly, if I smelt this on my boyfriend, I would just think he smelt very, very mature, put together, has his life together, takes care of business. Not overly sexy, but super, super masculine and reliable and dependable. That's kind of, yeah. That's what I get from this one. So now let's take a look at the back and see what the notes are. So we have oud in the opening. We have orange and cinnamon, cashmere, caramel, sandalwood, benzoin, musk, and patchouli. So that makes perfect sense. It does have a bit of a warmth and a sweetness to it, like I said, so there's that cashmere and that caramel. Of course, the opening is long gone now, but in the opening it says there's oud, orange, and cinnamon. Um, and then, of course, in the dry down, we have a little bit of that creamy kind of warmth and sensuality from the benzoin and the sandalwood. Um, so yeah, this one is nicer. I wonder if this is the one that I didn't like the opening, because um, I'm not a huge fan of cinnamon. But anyways, this is nicer. This is definitely nicer than the other one. Now this one, I really, really like you guys. This is from their art collection and I'm gonna butcher this for sure, but I think it's Rue Zade and Martine Mikalev. Rue Zade, Rue Zade, who knows. Um, but this is basically a collaboration between Mikalev and this other fellow or person. <laughs> um, and the bottle is really unique. This is from their art collection. This one's a little bit more pricey. I did look this up because I actually thought that my boyfriend would really, really like this one. This one I think is 245 or 275 euros. So definitely not cheap, but I think worth the price. Um, unfortunately with this one, they did just send one of the little um, dabber things. They sent one of these little dabber ones. Usually they send the spray bottles, but I'm guessing because this one's a little bit more pricey, they probably sent like the smaller one. Um, so again, I have not looked at the notes and there's no notes on this package, um, but this one is delicious, you guys. This one I think is unisex and I'm just gonna refresh my nose here. Oh my gosh, this one's really, really nice. This one's so nice. It's very masculine. I would say that this one definitely leans um, more masculine than it does feminine. Oh, it's so good. But definitely leans masculine. It has a little bit of a sweetness to it. It's got um, like some woody notes, like maybe some almost like cypress or something in there. Maybe not cypress. I'm not very good with my like trees. I don't know the different types of like cypress versus you know this leaf or that leaf I don't know that's the bottle um, so the opening is tangerine and star anise and bergamot the heart is a violet nutmeg and cashmere wood and the base is leather patchouli moss and musk so there is a little bit of like a sweetness to it there's that tangerine and that star anise when you first spray it um, we've got a little bit of freshness from the bergamot we've got some creamy smoothness from the cashmere and then we have patchouli, moss, and musk. So maybe that green smell is coming from the moss. I don't know, but it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Like this is your quintessential men's fragrance. Think about, you know, your typical kind of woody, mossy, fougere type of men's fragrance, but it's got a special twist to it. There's something different. It's unique. It's got that violet in there. It just smells like a hint, a little tiny hint feminine, but still very masculine and a little sweet. And it's just, it's, it's sexy. Again, it does smell accomplished. These are all very mature fragrances. None of these I think are like, you're going to the club, nothing like that. It smells like a very mature, accomplished, good looking man in his the prime of his life, like in his 30s. Nice suit, nice car. It's, um, it's really, really beautiful. And this is one that I think is definitely full bottle worthy. And finally, we have Royal Vintage. And this is another one that I think is definitely full bottle worthy. First of all, check out the bottle. Um, so this cologne or fragrance, men's fragrance, is again, very 
typical like men's cologne or men's fragrance kind of style. Um, but this one has like an edge to it. It has a deepness to it. This one smells like a true boss man, like rich boss man. So this one has a little bit of a freshness to it. I did look up the notes on this one because I'm really terrible at describing men's fragrances and I wanted to tell you a bit what it smells like. So it does open with a little bit of freshness. There's pink pepper, green apple, and bergamot in the opening. In the heart, they have thyme, they do have cypress, and they also have a little bit of jasmine. And then in the base, you have amber, you've got musk, you've got patchouli, and again, you have moss. So this one is a little bit green, a little bit fresh. It's green, it's woody, it's very spicy, it's like fresh spicy. It's a little bit fougere, it's like, it's got that moss in there. Yeah, this one is kind of like your very, um, what you would expect from a men's fragrance. I wouldn't say this one's actually my favorite. I kind of thought that this one would be my favorite. We'll just put this one away. Honestly, you guys, from this side of the pack, I do have to say this one from the art collection is definitely, definitely my favorite. Yeah, that one, this one's incredible, you guys. This one's really, really good. Like, you you can't go wrong. If you wanted to get like a really nice Christmas gift and your significant other or the men in your life appreciate something a little bit unique that smells high quality and just really, really good, you can't go wrong. Oh, I love it. The reason I like this one better than the Royal Vintage, I think is because the Royal Vintage is much more like typical kind of masculine scent, whereas this one has a twist. It's a little bit sweeter. It's got that caramel in there and it's also got that violet, which makes it almost a hint feminine, but in the sexiest way possible. Really, really good, you guys. This one hands down, like psh, we can just, we can just get rid of all those ones, honestly. Maybe this one for like my grandpa. And then yeah, this one for my, my boyfriend for sure. Really, really good. And then again, out of the women's side, of course, the Elaine in gold is obviously my favorite because I have that one. Um, Mon Parfum Pearl is really beautiful. This one's a little bit kind of basic, but still very pretty. And then the Royal Musca is probably your most like elegant, vintage, unique, musky scent, but definitely the Elaine in gold for me. So you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing my take on these samples from the house of Mikalev. I really love and enjoy this house so much. And I would really like it if you guys would let me know if there are any other must tries that I should try from the house. Also do head on over and follow me on Instagram if you're interested in seeing more little tidbits from my life, such as outfits of the day, sense of the day, home decor, and other things that you won't see here on YouTube. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye for now.